Yo, homeboys and homegirls, it's DJ here from Dirty Casuals Gaming, bringing you another episode of Pokemon Heart Gold Random Minor Nuzlocke. I'm gonna get right into it. I'm gonna fight the second gym leader, Bugsy of Azalea Town. <sighs> In case you missed the last episode, we, uh, you know, battled the Team Rocket and, and the gym trainer, so. Here's Scyther against my redundancy, so we're gonna see how the Scyther can stand up to all powerful songs gonna use focus energy. That could be that could be bad, but you know, we got redundancy's headbutt. It's gonna do some nice damage. And that quick attack ain't gonna do nothing, I hope. Oh, that did a lot more than I thought it would. That could be dangerous, especially if he's gonna keep focus energy. And he's got like a citrus berry or orange berry. Yeah citrus berry. Uh, citrus berry in the second gym, that's overpowered. And I'm gonna get hit whoa with that critical quick attack. That is not good. So we're gonna have to switch out here and uh, watch some toy. So, cause Scyther's part flying type, so you know, gotta get them electric tags in there. So, it's gonna go for another quick attack, good thing, cause we are a ghost type, so it doesn't affect us. And then it's gonna, go, Scyther's gonna go for a U-turn. I did not know Scyther would know U-turn, so that still did quite hefty damage, even though we're resistant, but. You know, we are quite under leveled. I'm gonna have to grind sometime soon. But we're gonna take out this Kakuna with pretty much no problems, considering it probably only knows Tackle and Harden. Maybe String Shot. And yeah, so that's that Kakuna. Took him down two hits. Nice critical at the end. Then we're gonna get that massive XP. And go up to level 12. So, you know, we're gonna. I was gonna go back with Scyther, so we're gonna see if we can take out this Scyther. Hopefully, it doesn't know Pursuit. Okay, it goes focus, focus energy, that's nice. We should be able to take this out in one Thundershock. I would hope so. And we do, but we get the crit. So we'll never know if I can take it out normally. <laughs> so, we get that massive experience. That's gonna give us a whole level. And then some, probably. And then some. Yeah, that's about a quarter, or a level and a quarter. So we're gonna get this nice, powerful Metapod. It's gonna harden and then string shot. But no, it ain't gonna do shit to me because Thundershock will take it down two hits, I believe. Yep, looks like it. Tackle doesn't affect me. Overpowered. I might be under leveled, but I got these overpowered Pokemon. But you know about that. All right, that was that was pretty easy. I like I like that. That's the second gym down. Two down. Fourteen to go. Six Yodo, eight Kanto. Alright, we're getting there, we're making progress. Pokemon up to level 30 will obey me. Good thing I had not even close. And then we get TM89. And I just remembered that these TMs are all randomized. I'm pretty sure she she gives U-turn normally, but who knows what it's going to be now. It's TM89 or something. Now I gotta do all these switches just to get back. That's a really annoying. Should have seen how long it took me to figure out how to get there in the first place. That was some funny shit. So, alright, done with that one. I don't think I have to press any switches for this. So, yep, okay, good to go. So now we're gonna make our way to the Pokemon Center. Because, you know, we, we, get, we get, took some pretty big hits from that Scyther. Yeah, so... Redundancies gonna need to be healed a lot. I still gotta train Trim to Bush. Trim to Bush is falling behind. I don't know if I want to train I Merc Rose. Thinking about just making him a flyer, just using him for fly. Because I'm, uh, I, I mean it could be good, but you know, I was never good with training six Pokemon at once. I might just keep the core four that I have right now. So. But you, we'll never know. And I gotta get rid of this egg. Cause you know, this is a pretty useless egg, and if you've seen it on the banners I had on the last couple episodes, it's been there. Useless egg. Not doing nothing, so I'm gonna get rid of it. Save everyone some time. And now we're gonna make our way towards Ilex Forest. I don't think there's anything left to do here. Uh, yeah, we're gonna tr do some TMs first, so... Or not. 
Yeah. Alright, we're gonna go catch a Pokemon real quick. Yeah, cause you know Alex Forrest, new region, gotta get us a new member of the team, if it's good. If it's something like a Weedle or something, it's staying in the wild because I ain't dealing with that shit. I know all these Nuzlockers always catch every Pokemon they can, but I'm not like that. Then we got a Bonsai, perfect example of a Pokemon I'm not going to catch. So, let's run from that. You know, cause, yeah, like I was saying, Nuzlockers tend to, tend to uh, catch every Pokemon they can. Like, I'm not like that because that's a waste of resources. Like, if it's a good Pokemon, I'll catch it because it's a good Pokemon. But if it's something like a Bonsai, it's going to take me forever to train and it's not going to be very useful on my team. Then it's not going to be on my team. You know, so... Anyway, we got this Farfetch. we got to find these... Sneak up behind these Farfetches, I believe. This is going to take me a long ass time because I have no idea what I'm doing. Oh shit, I got one already. That was easy. Oh, there's one more. Are you serious? Why do you have two farfetches? Farfetch is it? <laughs> I'm guessing it's over here. Fuck, repel we're off. I should have bought more repels for coming in here. Uh, yep, that okay, there it is. So I have no idea what I'm doing here. Uh <laughs> This looks really difficult. I hate these puzzles they put in games, you know. I was never much of a puzzle solver. I just like played games for the, en the enjoyment of the story. So let's try going around here. I think I got it now. Or not. I'll have to get it from behind, I guess. My repair wore off, huh? Here comes the wild battle spam. Oh, we got a bonsai again. Can't wait to not catch that. Nobody likes bonsai. Oh, I mean, I guess it's alright, but I'm not gonna sit there and train it all day. Just to get it to a Sudowoodo, which isn't that good. So what the fuck am I supposed to do here? I think I'm just gonna skip until I... Yep, alright, here we go. Anyway. So we found this other far-fetched. And here comes the guy. Oh yeah, even my far and fast. Good nicknames, boy. Good nicknames. You should do a Nuzlocke. You can make some excellent nicknames. But I got cut. So I can clear that tree now, thank god. Uh, you have no idea how long it took me to figure out how to catch that far fast. Anyway, look at all those nice TMs I got. I didn't even look at them before. I'm gonna teach Trim to Bush Cut. Because, you know, he needs a normal type. And I got X Scissor, Avalanche, and Toxic. It's a shame they're only one use, unlike the new ones. But X Scissor, I'll give that to Trim to Bush, probably, yeah. I'll give that to Trim to Bush. And I'll get rid of, like, growth or something. Yeah, growth. Ain't nobody need no growth. We're making them a physical attacker. Physical. Anyway. So, Trim the Bush learned X Scissor. Alright. Then we got Avalanche. I think I'm gonna save Toxic for some other time. But Avalanche. Anal Bees can learn Avalanche, Trim the Bush can learn Avalanche, and Washington Toy can learn Avalanche. There's no way they can le <laughs> learn this. I fucked up the randomizer somehow. But I think I'm gonna give it to Anal Beads, because you know. Nice type move. He needs he needs some more moves. He only knows like confusion and tackle for attacking moves, and he has hit imprison, the most useless move ever. So we'll get rid of that for for some avalanche. Alright. Now Anal Beads is gonna be powerful. It's gonna be powerful that avalanche. And that Liz chick's calling me. Sorry bitch, I don't got time for this. Just keep up the good work. Bring in the money for me. <sighs> Alright, so continue along Ilex Forest and we got another random battle. It's a Grovo. Not even bad. I, w I would have caught that in a heartbeat. Even though it probably would have sat in my box because I already have Trim the Bush. Anyway, gonna run from this. Can't escape. It's gonna hit me with the quick attack. And it's gonna do nothing. I'm gonna go for the run again. Can't escape. Uh, you know what they say, third time's a charm, right? And if it's not, then kill it. Alright, looks like we're gonna kill it. I ain't gonna say you're trying to run all day. 
Oh, I forgot I thought I had a lunch. That was like 30 seconds ago, not even. What have I been doing? Anyway, avalanche. There we go. Grovile's down. Not bad. Not bad at all. And, no, nope, no level up. Okay. So we'll continue on. And another battle. I'm tired of this. A lily. You know, I would have been kind of scared of that if it was a cradley. But you know, Lilibs can't do shit, neither can Anorets, but both their evolutions are powerful, powerful Pokemon. Uh, look, there's a Kimono Girl, another one. Oh god, I'm tired of these Kimono Girls. I'm seriously tired of these Kimono Girls. They're almost as bad as the Meryl Chicks. I am lost. Oh yeah, you're gonna just follow the anal beads, you know. They do not have an ulterior motive. Yeah, just go where the anal beads are, you know. Enjoy yourself now. <laughs> Those are my anal beads, though. I'll just let my hoes use them. So, in another battle, right before we get to the exit. It's a bonsai. It's like, catch me, catch me, please, DJ, please. I'm just like, no, bonsai, you're terrible. Leave me alone. Yeah. So we made it through Ilex Forest in one piece. Beat the gym leader. And that's going to be it for this time, so catch me next time, like and subscribe for more daily videos.